Hi everybody, it's Shenanigans here, and we're going to be playing through Yoshi's Woolly World. Yoshi's Woolly World is one of the newer games that I've gotten for the Wii U, and I haven't had the chance to complete it yet, so I thought it would be one of the better options for me to play through for my first Let's Play for this channel. So let's get started here. This isn't going to be a completionist playthrough, so if you're looking for all the little secrets, I might find a couple of the ones you haven't found, but my real goal with this is more to have fun with this, and just kind of get through the game so you guys can see the graphics and, and sit down and be able to enjoy it with me. We're going to start a new file here. In Yoshi's Woolly World, uh, it has two different uh, methods of play. You can play through classic mode. You can also uh, play in mellow mode as well, which you can switch back and forth between them as you're going through. Classic mode is what we're going to be playing through. Mellow mode is mostly so it, you can get through a level a little bit easier, um, actually a lot easier, mainly because Yoshi gets wings and can basically fly forever and becomes invincible. But again, we're going to play through on classic mode just because it's got a little bit more of a challenge and it's a little more appealing to play through in my opinion. Like it says, you can switch through though at any time that we want to, so if something does get a little hairy later, we can go ahead and switch over to mellow mode make things much, much easier. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to play through with the uh, Wii U Pro Controller. I do like using the gamepad for this game as well. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. I just like the way that the Pro Controller feels better in my hands, truthfully. It's uh, a little smaller, not as bulky. Uh, a lot of people have that complaint about the gamepad controller for the Wii U. But truthfully, um, depending on what game I'm playing, I actually really like the gamepad. So welcome to Craft Island, a tiny place in the middle of the handmade ocean. And really this does to me look handmade, like the colors on this pop so much, you can see the little fibers on some of the fabric, I mean it's, it's a really graphically appealing game to me and I really enjoy just watching the game. I've actually watched Let's Plays of this myself and I really just like watching people play the game even more than playing it myself. Because as I play through, I'm sure that I'll die more than once just because it's like, oh, that looks so shiny. So, okay, life here for the Yoshi clan is nothing but peaceful and leisurely. Or rather, it had been nothing but peaceful and leisurely until... Our Yoshis are already in trouble. I don't actually have a lot of experience with Yoshi games. Uh, my understanding, I guess, is Kamek is like a, a regular recurring villain throughout many of the Yoshi's Island series games. I didn't get a chance to play any of those. Um, I did play Yoshi's Story, but I haven't played Yoshi's Island or any of the other Yoshi's Island franchise, so I don't know a lot about Kamek, only that he really appeared uh, in Mario Galaxy and that he appeared in uh, New Mario Brothers Wii. Um, other than that, I haven't really had him as a primary villain, so it's kind of neat. Hello, little Yoshis. Sorry to drop in so suddenly, but I need to turn you all into yarn. Thanks. It's not very nice. Don't worry. Don't worry. No Yoshis were harmed in the making of this video game. They don't have nerve endings. They're fine. At this rate, I'll be here through lunch. Come on, I'm busy. Everybody becomes yarn. I just I really like that his wand is one of those little pins that you see when you're when you're doing crafting and stuff like that. Like the ones that I used I used to use those to like hang posters on the wall and things like that. There, this should be plenty. Well I'd better get back. Toodles. What what villain says toodles when they're trying to leave? That just doesn't sound like an exit. It 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 sounds like your grandmother, you know, visiting for a weekend and then saying goodbye. You know, toodles! I baked you cookies. Goodbye. Give me back my Yoshi friends. I don't understand. I've played through this game before. I don't understand. There's two Yoshis left. He has a magic wand. Why didn't he turn them into yarn too? I don't know. I mean, it would make for a really short game, but I'm really curious. Eek! That's quite enough. I've had it with you annoying Yoshis. I love the animation in this. I love the color. And if you can't hear the sound, the sound in this game is adorable. And the, the music is fantastic. I love the live guitar in the intro for this. If I could just seriously just like keep it as ambient music throughout my throughout my apartment for the entire day, I totally would. I, granted, I'd be napping the entire day, but it would be great. All right, there's still hope. As Kamek flies away, he drops a handful of yarn. A 
A rather important Yoshi meeting is held between the two remaining Yoshis. What do we do to save the others? We need to get that yarn back. Hurry! After that naughty trickster! And so, another grand Yoshi adventure begins. Will they be able to knit their friends back together? Onward, Yoshis! I love the narrator. I, I, I kind of imagine that that's kind of what the narrator would sound like. I can't imagine a really monotone narrator. I really can't. Just because this game is just so happy. It's so colorful. It's so bright. I'm going to show something off really quickly here because uh, I, I think it's kind of neat. If you have a Wii U system and you have Amiibo, you can actually change what your Yoshi looks like by tapping one of your Amiibo while you're in the Amiibo hut. And you can actually make him look like, you know, a Luigi. So he gets a little mustache and he turns all green. Or you can turn him into Link. So he's got a little Hylian shield where his little saddle is in the back. At least I assume that's a saddle. It's either a saddle or a shell. So we're going to go ahead and go on to World 1. And we're going to go do World 1-1. Um, I've already gone through and played this level about four times today. It looks like I haven't played through. I just kept having to erase because I kept having to remake this video. Um, so, a couple of things really quickly. You can see that there is co-op and there is solo. For today, we're only going to be doing some solo, but in the future we might actually do some co-op. I do have friends that like to play video games too, and if any of you uh, who are listening out there want to come and join me uh, and play this, by all means, uh, let's see what we can arrange and, you know, you can come on over, maybe we play a couple levels together and see what we can do. Uh, friends, family, you guys are more than welcome to come over. This video is for everybody to watch and everybody to enjoy. Um, you can also see here on this intro screen that there's these four little blue stars with these little items next to them. Those are collectibles that we're going to get throughout the game. So there's five little flowers that influence whether or not we get a bonus game. Then there's five little pieces of yarn. that That's our little Yoshi that we're trying to get, our little dismembered Yoshi. And then there's our 20 little Miiver stamp pieces that they're all hidden behind little um, beads that I thought were gems initially. Um, throughout the entire level. We're going to find all those. And then there's uh, 20 hearts. The hearts are are your health. So if you do get hit, it is possible that even if you do get 20 hearts, if you get hit at the very end and you lose your one heart, you're not going to be able to get that one. So that's usually the hardest collectible for me to keep because I, I like platformer, platformers. I'm just not terribly good at them. But um, we're going to try and go ahead and get 20 stars as much as possible turn into our little yarn ball. This one other thing that I really like about this game is that, in, in it's not in this stage, but you'll notice that in other stages, Yoshi will actually turn into different things. Like, he'll turn into, I think there's one stage, he turns into a motorcycle. Uh, there's another one, he turns into an airplane, he turns into a submarine, a mole, and those are just the ones that I've seen, and I'm sure that there are more of them um, somewhere around. I just don't know what they are yet. This world is just so beautifully, like, it looks so handcrafted and put together. Um, I, every time I play it, it doesn't matter how many times I play this game, it just looks absolutely fantastic. And there's little hidden secrets all over the place, too. And there's another thing that I, I, I want to show this off, how uh, Yoshi transforms sometimes. As you're running through, if you jump and then you hit down, he turns into a little mallet. You can use him to crush enemies. Now, I don't recommend doing it for the Piranha Plant, and I'm not going to show it off, um, but the Piranha Plant will eat you. And I wish I could zoom in on him, too, so you could see him, because he actually doesn't look like he's made out of yarn. He looks like he's made out of, like, plush and cotton and stuff like that. So, now, we don't actually have to kill this Piranha Plant here. Like I said, I've played this level a couple of times already, and so uh, I, I already kind of know where all the little hidden things are. So we're not, we're not going to bother... Uh, we're not going to bother killing enemies we don't need to. I mean, we'll let them live in peace for for now. Um, but here we are. Now, I do feel kind of bad in this game. There's one thing. These Shy Guys, they're so adorable. Their little feet, they're just made of little wires of yarn, and they're edible. I know that they're just minding their own business, but I can't help it. It's, it's still terribly adorable. And their little mask flies off. Alright. And... Another great thing about how handcrafted this game is, it's like, it's, it's some cases it's very difficult to tell where all the hidden secrets are. Now this one's a little more obvious, because you can kind of see the things that were behind it. But up here there's going to be another secret that you're not going to realize is there until you decide to move things. 
I never would have really thought when I was younger and, play, and if I played a game like this, I never would have thought to look there. Granted, when I was younger, I also wasn't a very good gamer either, so <laughs> that's uh, that's kind of obvious to me. There we are. And I love these wireframes. If you throw the ball at them, um, it turns into another little platform for you. And that's not the only place where there's platforms like that. Uh, there are hidden platforms throughout this entire game where sometimes you're not going to see you're not going to see your platform until you uh, until you accidentally run into them in some cases. There's a lot of hidden platforms that are just, I mean, completely invisible. Uh, those little clouds don't always just appear. Sometimes you have to run through them or throw a yarn ball through them before even the cloud appears, and then you have to throw another one at them to get them to go through. And you'll kind of see something like that later in this level. Now we're trying to free our little Yoshi, and we've hit our checkpoint here. It's all snoozy and nice and comfortable, but oh, wake it up. And then all of our little enemies turn into flowers. It's just the ones in the immediate area, so I mean, there are enemies throughout the rest of this level, don't get me wrong, it's not that easy of a game. There's actually quite a few bosses in this game that are very frustrating, and a few enemies that are just kind of plain weird. And I still can't figure out how to beat some of them. Okay. A little bit of yarn. This little question mark cloud. It's funny, in the last couple, uh, last couple of videos I tried putting together, I kept trying to run into it for some reason. I kept forgetting that you gotta throw yarn at. There we are. We got our fourth little happy flower. Such a happy flower. Somebody was a really good gardener. We don't want to quite jump through this. We're going to just do little short jumps, and now we're going to get there. I just realized that Yoshi looks like a chipmunk, which means I forgot to swallow the yarn. There we go. Uh, for this video, I'm not going to be doing my chipmunk voice, even if Yoshi does look like a chipmunk. I'm not going to do it. You guys can be horrified with that later. Okay. Like I said, it's so bright, so colorful and vibrant. You, just, you, you can't help how adorable this game is. We've almost saved our other little Yoshi friend. Okay. Now, this is what I was talking about earlier. You don't see a platform here. Now, for some experienced gamers, you're going to realize this, obviously. That there's got to be something there. But for me, when I was a kid, I... Honestly, wouldn't have gotten that. I probably would have jumped off the ledge and just <laughs> fallen to my death multiple times. Um, but that is that is a common theme in this game, is that there are a lot of hidden objects. Um, but that's to be expected. It is a collectibles game. There's a lot of things to collect in this game. And uh, if you want 100% completion of it, 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 it does take some time and a lot of searching. I actually watched a video uh, of the completionist actually doing this game. I don't recall what the completion bonus was. You'd have to go check out his video in order to see that. Um, I'm not willing to do a completion of almost any video game to be 100% honest just because usually it takes very long and I'm not a bad gamer, just a really, really impatient one. So uh, I probably won't be going through and doing that. Alright, and see again, there's another thing that we're just, we don't know where it is. Well, there it is right in front of us. I'm probably going to just jump through it actually. There we go. Grow up another plant. We're actually almost at the end of our level here. I know because I've played it so many times. There we go. Cool. So now we've gotten all of our flowers, we've gotten all of our yarn, and there we are. Got all of our beads now, too. All of our little Meaver stamp beads. So if we go ahead and hit the start button, or the plus button in this case, if you look, we've got all of our flowers, we've got all of our yarn, we've got all of our stamps, and we've got all of our life. So we only have one thing left to do. And I didn't show this in the last couple videos, but I really wanted to show this. If you look at this ending right here, you have to leap through that to end the level. If that little glowy bit stops on a flower right as you're running through, you get a little bonus game. I'm going to try and get it this time. I got it in the last ones, but now that I've said it, I probably won't get it. I still want to say again, I love how his feet turn into little wheels when he starts running and he starts speeding up. But even better is when his feet turn into propellers. I really, really like that. I love the detail that they put into this. So we're going to give it a running start, and we're going to try it. 
Oh, we missed it by one. That's okay, that's okay. You will get a chance to see it. It is a little bit random, but you will get a chance to see it in a later video, I'm sure. Just not sure when it'll be. And really, the bonus stages, all they're for is they're for extra, extra beads, which you can use to buy power-ups later in the game. And we're actually going to unlock our first power-up here in a moment that you can only use in mellow mode, which is perfectly fine with me because we don't really plan on using it. Um... But it, it is something that will be available to you if you decide to play the game, too. So here we go. And we're going to pop out. We're going to get our first power-up, which is a power badge that lets us skip courses. So it makes the game much easier. If there's a course that you just absolutely can't get through, and you're totally stuck on, that's going to let you get through it. And now we're going to unlock a super, super happy Yoshi. The Yoshi of Three Smiles. The flower Yoshi. Yes, he has smiles on his cheeks and he is adorable. My fiance and I absolutely love this game. We spend hours just fawning over this game with as adorable as it is. And the best part about it is that not only did we just unlock the Yoshi hut, which lets us see all of our little unlockable Yoshis, but after the stage is built, I love how they put that in, how it just builds each stage as you go through. It's not even built until you get to it. But we can actually play as Flower Yoshi if we want to. I might for my next video, I might play through as little Flower Yoshi, maybe all the ones that I unlock I'll play through as them. I know even in my main file I haven't unlocked all of them. Uh, my fiance is taking much more time to actually go through, unlock everything, collect all the little things. Myself, um, as I said again, I'm a very impatient gamer. Not a bad gamer, just an impatient one. So I'll play through and uh, I'll try and get as much as I can but I'm not really planning on doing the completionist on this. So anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and end this off here. If you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, I'm more than happy to hear from people. I, I look forward to hearing from people, actually. This is my first video, so if you have any suggestions, if there's any games out there that you think I should try, by all means, I'd love to hear about them. Uh, if you want to actually play, I have friends and family in the area that I'm sure that will see this video. If you guys want to play, uh, hang out and, uh, and join me in this. I mean, I'm more than happy to have you guys on and maybe in the future others as well. Uh, but for right now, I'm going to sign off. This has been Shenanigans, and I hope you guys have a great, fantastic day. Bye!